So in this video, we have this login field. I know the correct email that needs to be provided, but I do not know the password yet. We can try to brute force this password, but there is a problem. So suppose if I type a password and click on login, I can see it says invalid credentials. If I type another password and click on login, I can see now the pop-up says too many failed attempts. Please try again in 20 minutes. So I've been restricted for 20 minutes before any attempt. So our usual way of brute forcing will not work. There's some sort of a rate limiting feature of this website. So one of the way how we can brute force this password field is by rotating our IP. So this is what we're going to be learning in this video. We're going to try to brute force this password field by rotating our IP. This is the crack the gate 2 CTF challenge of Pico CTF. The description says the login system has been upgraded with a rate limiting feature and it will lock us out after repeated failed attempts from the same source. Our objective is to bypass the rate limiting restriction. The email has been provided so we just need to find the password and a password list has also been provided. I have downloaded the password list and there are 20 passwords. So one of the 20 passwords is a correct password, but I cannot try it here one by one because it will lock us out. So if I check the hints, the first hint says, what IP does the server think you're coming from? And the second hint says, read more about this header. So let's read about this header. So I can see the header x forwarded for identifies the source IP that is sending the request to the server. So that is the reason why when we try different password from the same IP, the server is able to detect it and lock us out. So to bypass this login field, we need to send each request with a different IP. So let's generate a fake IP list and I can do this with ChatGPT. So I'll copy this, create a new file, call it IP and click on create and paste the IPs. So now 20 IPs has been generated. Now let's try to brute force this password field. So for this we need to use burp suite. So I'll turn on my burp proxy, turn the intercept on and give any random password and click on login. And I can now see the request has been intercepted to brute force, I will right click and send this request to intruder. In the intruders tab, for the attack type, I will change from sniper attack to pitchfork attack. So with a pitchfork attack, the first IP will be used for the first password, the second IP will be used for the second password, and so on. So after selecting the pitchfork attack, I need to use the header. So I'll copy the name of the header and paste it with the rest of the headers. I'll give a colon and add a marker here. We need another marker in the password field. So I will highlight the password field, add a marker. Now I can see two markers has been added. One for the IP field, one for the password field. On the right side, I can see payloads. Since IP is in the first field, for the payload position, I will select one. I will keep the payload type simple list and add my list. So I'll click on load, select my ip.txt file and click on open. I can see the IPs are loaded. I will select the second position, which is the password field and add my file. So I'll click on load and select my passwords and click on open. Now the passwords are also added. We're now all done. We can start the attack and I can now see the attack has started. So it is now checking all the passwords with different IPs. In the length section, I can see for these passwords, the length is similar, but when the password is this, I can see the content length that we're receiving from the server is much higher. So let's see when the password is this, what type of response are we getting from the server? So I'll click on the response tab and I can see when the password is this, we found the flag. So this is the correct password. So let me copy this flag. Turn off my verb proxy and paste the flag. 
and click on submit flag and I can see we are correct. So we are going over the web exploitation CTF challenges of Pico CTF. If you wanna follow along, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.